Well, hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for today's video. I actually had a different video scheduled for you today, but then I went to Dollar Tree this morning and I found so many amazing Christmas items and some, some fall items too to share with you guys and I had to share them with you today. So I decided to just film this haul and edit it and get it out to you guys today right away. So thanks for your patience in waiting for this video to come out. I know it's gonna be a few hours late, but I appreciate your patience. And I really hope you guys enjoy this haul as much as I enjoyed shopping. <laughs> If you haven't gone to your local Dollar Tree yet, if you have one near you, check it out. They have some really amazing things, especially they're in their new crafting section. It's really, really outstanding. So I'll see you guys in the next video on Friday. Um, in the meantime, enjoy this haul and I love you. Bye. Look at this stash, you guys. I cannot wait to do projects with these. These are amazing, and I can't believe Dollar Tree has them. So let's go through this stack here of wooden goodies. All right, guys, we're starting out this giant Dollar Tree Christmas haul with some nesting boxes. Look at these, they're gorgeous. They have that kind of a, almost like a farmhouse gray wood backdrop. And then you have the uh, red Christmas truck, the tree says tree delivery. These are so well done, you guys. And look, the box itself is lined with trees on the side and the lid has this decorative pattern on it. How beautiful is that, you guys? And here's what surprised me the most. When I opened these up, okay, so they're nesting, of course. So there's going to be, I believe there's three boxes in total in here, three different sizes. But look at the bottom. The bottom inside of each box also has the truck decoration on it. What? That's amazing, you guys. Can you believe that? So these are the sizes. This is the smallest one. I can fit both my hands on here. It's quite large. Look at that, you guys. I mean, and the lid is red on the inside. I mean, these look really, really high end to me. They're so beautiful. I love these. They are just so well done, you guys. I love them. I picked up two sets, so I have six of these boxes all together, you guys. And then I'll probably also use these for uh, gifting purposes because they are that well done. These are gorgeous. And then moving on to more nesting boxes, we of course have our mailbox, You've Got Mail. <laughs> I love these so much. I pick up at least one version of these pretty much every year. And this year, I really wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't excited about any of the designs. I actually had uh, my, my choice because the truck had just come in, so I basically had first dibs on everything. This was the cutest one for me, um, but it's not my favorite that Dollar Tree has done. I, I prefer kind of an elegant one, um, but this is the one that I chose. And there are four in here, you guys. Four different sizes. And uh, for this one is about the size of my hand, a little smaller than my hand. This is really good. These small ones are really cute for like um, gift cards. You can put them on the tree, just add a little piece of string or something or rope, um, hang them from the tree. They're so cute. They're just darling. And I've actually used these mailboxes for lots of gifting uh, purposes. And I might actually show you guys um, a craft using one of these. We'll see. Um, you know, I've got a lot on the docket. 
one. So we'll see how much I actually get done, but these are adorable. And guys, check these out. Okay, we've got a couple of plates and two tumblers, and I think there were four uh, versions of these. I picked out the one that says Blessed and Faith. Um, these are insulated tumblers, so they will keep things hot. I don't know for how long, but uh, they will keep things hot. I don't think these are microwave safe. Let's see if I can uh, see anything on the bottom here. Okay, these are not microwave or dishwasher safe, but I'm okay with that. And we also have these plates with that same um, buffalo check pattern. Come on, you guys, these are amazing. And these are just not plastic but have a few ideas in mind for these. I really love this buffalo check pattern and I'm so happy to see that Dollar Tree is kind of jumping on that bandwagon because this is a really trendy pattern now. And then I also found this disposable um, storage container at Dollar Tree, which matches the buffalo check. And so I picked that up as well because I think I might make this into a gift basket for someone special. But these are really, really great, you guys. If you haven't um, tried these or found these at your Dollar Tree, they're great for just storing things or what have you. They always come with a bottom piece. So it's only the one side that has the pattern on it, which I am okay with. And then this bottom piece just um, goes right into the bottom area and uh, gives the bottom a little bit of sturdiness as well. But look at, these are great. These hold so much, you guys. This one is actually nine by nine by eight inches, but they have all different sizes. So check these out at your Dollar Tree, guys. But how cute, love it. So I found some of these Color Your Own ornaments. I picked up three of the Snowflake and then one of the Bell. There's five pieces in each of these, you guys. Lots of things you can do with these. And they're fairly substantial. They're not super thin so that they're gonna break right away. I mean, you could do crafts with these with kids as well. And something that's not new, guys, but that I pick up every year are, of course, these little mini Christmas trees. I've got four of them in the green, and I will be picking up a few in the white, too. I should have grabbed those when I was there, but I just had so much at checkout that I was kind of embarrassed but I picked up four of these little mini Christmas trees. Um, these are so nice to have. I always pick up at least a few. All right, continuing on with nesting boxes, I actually picked up just two of these larger um, versions of the nesting box houses. And, you know, I just wasn't real fond of the patterns this year, or the design on these. They're not bad, they're just not really my taste uh, in particular. So I only got one of each of these, but I do use these every year for gifting purposes and certain crafts as well. So we'll see, um, maybe I'll pick up a few more, we'll see. But, um, and they're just, they're the same as they always are on the inside with the little covers. If you guys saw my home tour, you know that I use these sometimes to make tissue boxes, um, decorative tissue boxes for uh, the holidays. But we have this one, which is basically just Santa at the North Pole with the fox, which I'm, you know, it's, it's all right. And then this one is just basically a gingerbread house. And it's cute, it's just not really my aesthetic. So they've got some glitter on the roof as usual and uh, no glitter on the sides though. And then I totally hit the jackpot with all of Dollar Tree's uh, wooden adornments here. So I picked up um, three of these snowflake decorative color your own ornaments. This snowflake is so cute, you guys. And then I also picked that up um, in the bell version. There's five pieces per package in here. And um, these of course are, are paintable or you can use them in any kind of a craft project or you could really use these just um, as they are if you're doing kind of a rustic decor. But they are really cute and they're not super thin so you could um, have your kids use these in crafts. They're not gonna break real easily. I'm not sure about the uh, snowflake just because you know, you've got these um, pieces that might be just a little bit more temperamental, but um, but I don't think so. I don't think they break. They're they're pretty pretty sturdy and they're fairly thick actually. So um, these are so cute. I think I actually picked up two in the uh, bell and then I got the three in the snowflake. And then I was able to find these this year, which I could not find these last year. Uh, I looked everywhere, every Dollar Tree. Um, within a few hours of our home and I could not find these. Um, these are just these DIY wooden signs. 
and um, so this year they have the ornament. I don't know if they had that last year, but uh, I didn't see them. And this year they have the wooden ornament, and then we have the tree, of course, and we have the snowflake. I really like this snowflake too. It's I, I like the decorative edge. It's it's really pretty. And I think I got two of each of those. Oh, and then I picked up one of the star. Then we also have these little DIY wooden signs as well. This We have Santa, we have a snowman, and then we have the uh, gingerbread man. I think the gingerbread man is actually my favorite. He's so cute. These are kind of three-dimensional. They have the uh, raised wood pieces on them. But these are fairly substantial, um, sturdy enough to use in projects or on their own. Good and sturdy and just really, really nice. But look at the little buttons on there, the little wooden buttons, you guys. I mean, they're just adorable. I love the gingerbread man. He's my favorite. So cute, you guys. I got two of the gingerbread man because he's super cute. And then also they have the little uh, gingerbread house, which I think is super cute. The windows are raised and there's the snow on the roof, which is also raised. It's like the, um, what do they call that? Where they burn the design in? I can't remember what that's called, but we did that in high school in my art class. Can't think of what it's called, but um, very, very sturdy, love these. Grabbed a few of the houses actually. And then of course we have our Christmas truck. So cute, you guys. Has the little tree coming off the back. I mean, this is really well done. I love these few ideas in mind for these. These are great for um, the center of a wreath or any kind of Christmas decor really. Sorry about the shadows you guys. I did not set up my uh, lighting. I'm just in my basement right now and I didn't set up really uh, lighting very well. I have my ring light and that's it just because I wanted to get this out to you right away. So sorry if there's a lot of shadows but you guys have probably already seen these, these little signs. Um, these are also the raw wood and this one says Merry and Bright and we have Peace on Earth and we have let it snow. The these are a little bit flimsy, so they can break, so just be careful with these, you guys. But as long as you're careful, um, they're gonna be okay. But I love this, has a little snowflake in the middle as the O. I mean, how cute. The Mary is really, um, it's, it's really pretty, but you know, that can break off pretty easily. So just, like I said, just be careful, you guys, when you're using this, if you're gonna paint them. Uh, back is the same. And the Peace on Earth one is, is quite uh, strong and sturdy as well. But this is my favorite one, actually. I love this. So that is all the wooden signs that I got. And my store didn't have any Christmas ornaments out yet, but they did have these little trucks. I mean, so cute, you guys. I love these. These are so much better than previous years that I've seen. They've got just a little wire, um, little wire hanger on there little trees coming off. The truck has a little bit of a um, corrugated feature here on the front part that's three-dimensional. Some glitter on the tire rims and um, so stinking cute. They're pretty pretty tiny, great for like a mini tree or for a project. I got quite a few of these actually you guys because um, I knew if I didn't and then I went back to get some they would be gone, but uh, these are going to be a hot ticket item for sure. So cute, I love them so much. And they're, they're much better made than they've been in previous years. I can feel it just by, just by touching it. I can feel that uh, the trees aren't gonna come off quite as easily, so that is great. And then I grabbed some of these glitter base fillers. I think I got five or six bags of these. They're just um, glittery styrofoam balls in kind of a red and a gold, but it's a pretty gold. You know, it's not a too yellow for me. It's almost more of a champagne gold, but these are great for fillers. Don't have anything in mind for these just yet, but I know I will use them. And then I pick up uh, one pack of tinsel stems. I still have quite a few, but I always pick up maybe one or two packs every year because I do use these in a lot of my projects. So I just got them in the green, but they have red and gold and silver. And I got some florals, you guys. Check these out, they're so beautiful. These are some glittery ferns. 
and they are glittery, my friends, but they are beautiful. I mean, I've seen uh, picks like this at Hobby Lobby and Michaels for, you know, $7, really. These are amazing. There's, let's see, there's two, four, there's five uh, branches on each of these picks. So these are, these are fairly substantial. They're the longer uh, size pick and these are gonna be perfect. I wish I could have gotten more. My store only had like four of them, so I picked up all four. I also found two versions of these uh, willow branches. This one has the kind of like the crystals, the glittery crystals on it. Uh, hopefully that will pick up on camera for you guys. These are really, really beautiful. They kind of um, reflect a, a lot of different colors like the rainbow uh, in there, but mostly a silvery tone to them. And my store also had this uh, flocked version of that uh, willow branch, which is just a really soft, um, white furry coating on there. These are extremely messy, you guys. I have quite a few of these because these are excellent fillers in any craft project for the holidays. And then I found more of these decorative branches. I have some of these already in my arsenal, but I always grab more because these look so high end, you guys, and these look so good in any project. They're just a red berry with uh, silver glitter on them. But they just, they're, I don't know, there's something about these that I just love. Again, I hope the light is picking up the beauty in these picks. And again, very messy, you guys, but worth it. And then, of course, we have our cotton bouquets from Dollar Tree. Every year they come out with these. And um, again, another high-end looking pick. <laughs> I've got my little berries are stuck. These little berries, they just attached to everything, like static cling. <laughs> so those don't belong on there. But um, look at how well done these are. We've got the flocked pine cones on here, the beautiful leaves and a couple of berries. And these are wired so, you know, they're movable and you can transform them. These are amazing, but I think they look so high end and so gorgeous in projects. So I picked up quite a few of those, as many as I could find actually, oops. How did he get in there? We had a stowaway. My store also had a few with the white berries, so I picked up what I could of those as well. Gorgeous. And check out these premium Christmas picks, you guys. Seriously, I have actually seen these at Michael's for, you know, five or six dollars on sale. That's on their 50% off. So <laughs> this was an outstanding find. Took as many of these as I could. The pine cone pick with the berries and the branches and the pine cones are kind of flocked. This is, these are gorgeous, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. And I grabbed a few of the burgundy colored poinsettia plants. They have the uh, gold berries in there, glittery gold berries in there, the leaves. These are so stunning. I'm not a fan of the bright red, you know, the orangey red. I prefer kind of a blue toned red, this darker red. It's just a deeper color and I think it looks richer. So I picked up a few of these as well. Let me know if you guys wanna see how I store all of my florals and craft items. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick up this mess, but there's glitter everywhere and I love it. And then I found these decorative felt ornaments as well. Um, they're pretty substantial, you guys. Big as my hand, I found a tree and I found a stocking and I am such a sucker for a Christmas stocking. I love these just as they are, but I've got some really cute ideas in mind for these. So um, stay tuned for that, my friends. But there are, let's see, there's 12 in a pack of these. That's, that's so great. I was able to get two in the stocking and one in the tree. But these have the little cutouts in there. So we'll open one of these up. I'll show you guys what these look like. <laughs> How cute are those, you guys? I mean, really, they're so cute. And of course, they're just that soft felt, really thin though. They're really thin, but that's perfect for, um, for crafting, you guys. The little pieces are coming out. You could even use these to, to do some spray painting. Use them for the shape. So cute. Let's take a look at the tree too while we're at it, guys. I'm curious, I haven't opened any of these yet. I literally just got home uh, about an hour ago. 
So you have to punch out all these little pieces here to get the full effect. Okay, that might take a little doing, so I'm not gonna finish that now because there just isn't time for that. But how cute, how cute. Seriously, Dollar Tree is just killing it, you guys, as far as I'm concerned, especially in their Christmas and fall decor. Beautiful. So I grabbed a couple of the metal wreath hangers as well. I actually use these often. I use them in my decor, but I also use them to, um, to display uh, the wreaths that I make. Um, but if you have a wreath that's really heavy, these may not hold. Um, they are a little more substantial than the uh, shiny metal or the plastic ones that they have at times, but um, just keep that in mind. They're not going to hold a really heavy wreath. I don't know if there's a weight on here. No, there's not, but, but they work. They serve their purpose for, for your average wreath. I found a few of the mini trees as well, you guys. These can be hard to come by, but these are great for little uh, snow globes or any kind of miniature projects you're doing. So I grabbed a, a few of those as well, but they're just so tiny and cute. I love these. And there are eight of these in each package. And these are the flocked trees too. They're so cute. I found a couple of these little uh, bell decor and they have the little garland piece here as the hanger with some leaves and berries that are glitter and then this really pretty felt red bow, uh, just plastic. But I have a few projects in mind for these. I think I found two of these. And I found a couple of these uh, sparkle mesh rolls. These are, I believe, three yards each. They're a sheer red with a silver snowflake design on them. I don't know if that'll pick up again on camera, but really, really pretty. And then I also found some of the regular decorative mesh in the red and white. I picked up a few of those. And these are five yards each. So if you make a large wreath, you're going to need a lot of these rolls. So you might be better off going to Hobby Lobby or Walmart or Michaels to get those, especially if you have a coupon. But um, I always like to pick a few up at Dollar Tree in case I have a smaller project to do. And then I found these LED lights. One is in these clear stars and then one is in the little red truck. So I picked up one of each of those. I typically prefer a warmer light than what Dollar Tree lights give off, but uh, these were too cute to pass up. So I grabbed one of each of those and these take two AA batteries. So these are the stars. <laughs> these are adorable. They're so cute. And my store finally has these little wooden decorations. Happy holidays and have a jolly Christmas. I just love these, especially the little red truck one. These are really heavy, you guys. You can use them in projects. You could use them just as your regular, part of your regular decor. And they've got the little piece of twine, burlap twine around the uh, top part of the jar. These are great. I love these. This one has the little poinsettia. And then adding on to those, I also found these Season's Greetings and Merry Christmas, the little snowman and the Santa. Look how cute those are. You can make your own little signs with these or if you like them, use them in your decor. So stinking cute and again, really heavy. These are just like blocks, <laughs> blocks of wood. I actually got two of each of those and I got one of each of these. And then I also found these here, which I think they may have had last year, but I'm not certain. I never found them in my Dollar Tree. Um, these say Merry Christmas. They have that kind of farmhouse gray background with the little red barn. And I love these little snow globes. Again, the substantial wood, so stinking cute. I love the twine at the base of the snow globe. I mean, so cute, you guys. Something like this, you'd probably pay between like maybe t even $10 or, or more at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I mean, these are, these are substantial, you guys, and they're super cute. I ended up grabbing a little bit of ribbon from my store, but they didn't really have a lot. So I picked up this one, which I thought was really interesting. It has almost a leather pattern on there, uh, embossed on there. I don't know if the camera will pick that up again, you guys, but it is, it's really neat. I'm not sure if I absolutely love it, <laughs> but I picked it up because it's kind of neat and I'm interested to try working with this. So I'll give that a whirl. And then the regular um, kind of somewhat semi-sheer um, satiny and sparkly ribbon. These are all wired, by the way. Um, these are some of my favorite. I actually like it in the champagne, but that's gotten really hard to find. But I use the champagne version of this in my decor every year. 
I'm gonna use the red for um, for projects. For nine feet of ribbon on each. So I got a couple of those. And then I also picked up one of this Merry Christmas because I think it's just gorgeous. It just reminds me of kind of an elegant country design. So pretty. Very traditional uh, writing on there of Merry Christmas and I just love it with the little poinsettia. I grabbed a little bit of the paint from Dollar Tree. Um, the praying as well as this washable paint. I got the red and the green. The green is kind of a, a glittery, has some glitter in there, and the brown and red are just matte. And I picked those up for future projects. Um, all of these are washable paints, which is good if you're gonna be crafting with the kiddos or if you're just really messy like me. I like that uh, glitter in the green one. It's really pretty, adds a nice touch. So I just found the Dollar Tree bag that I had somehow missed. So I picked up two of the stockings as well. Um, like I said, I couldn't find those and I had one more stray bag uh, laying around and I finally found these. So you've seen the bell, but look at the stockings. They're so cute. Let's take one out so you can see the thickness of these. They're quite thin. They remind me of like a really thin wafer. <laughs> I must have food on the mind. They're so cute, you guys. I love these, and like I said, I absolutely adore the stocking shape. It's just so cute. Not all stocking shapes are created equal, my friends. <laughs> Not as far as I'm concerned. But I love these, and I love stockings in general at Christmas time. Cute, amazing, way to go Dollar Tree. And in that bag, I also found um, these DIY stickers, which are amazing. I got two of the ones with the mittens because, I mean, just look how cute those mittens are. And the candy canes and the little red glittery stockings, two of those. And then I also got some of this silver or gray decorative mesh, you guys. I got a couple of those. Again, they've got that kind of grayish tone, like a farmhouse gray. Really, really pretty. So I just keep finding more in these bags, you guys. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, so there's the red, the white, and then this kind of bluish gray, silver color of mesh. And then for the last of the Christmas, I did pick up one of the little plastic snow globes, DIY snow globes, and some of these little ornament filler packs. I don't remember seeing Dollar Tree have these before. I picked up the one with the, with the leaves and berries and um, yeah, these are just really cute uh, to use in the DIY ornaments, but there's a lot you could do with these guys. So I picked up two packs of those. They had, um, they had a blue snowflakes and a couple of other different ones too, but I just picked up these. All right, moving on to fall, you guys. How pretty are these? I don't usually pick up dish towels in that once in a while. I think last year I picked one up at Dollar Tree for the autumn collection but they have these beautiful pumpkins on there. It looks very farmhouse-y with the word gather. Um, just really, really nice and uh, well-made. So I picked up one of each of those. Not sure if I will keep those or use them in our decor or if I will uh, give them as a gift, but they're so pretty. And I grabbed one of the little uh, decorative boxes. Uh, it's a gift box, but they're, they're cardboard actually. They have a little uh, satin handle on them, satin ribbon handle but um, this is really pretty. I'm gonna find a use for this, whether I use it as a uh, to give a gift or if I use it in a project. It's just really, really pretty. Again, it's got that black and white buffalo check design on it. Um, just really pretty, you guys. And of course, one of these little packets. Everyone needs one of those. Now, I don't usually decorate for Halloween, but I do craft, and so I picked these nesting boxes up. They're like books, and I thought these would be really useful in some projects. So I won't be using these as decor, but I will be using these in projects. And again, they're the nesting boxes. There's three, I think there's, actually I think there's four sizes in total. But they are really cute. So if this is kind of up your alley, then um, check out your local Dollar Tree guys, because these are really cute. And then they have this design cast a spell or casting spells and then I also found this design here so but I got them just for the sizes <laughs> because I'm gonna be doing projects but these are really 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 cute I grabbed a few of these little front door scarecrow decor they are adorable 
Super lightweight, great to use in projects. They've got the nice long stick on them. And um, <clears throat> mine had different outfits and even different faces, different colored faces. And um, so yeah, score. They had these last year in different colors and I only picked up one in the, um, in the clear glass. So I picked up another one of those. And they also found this jar, which I think is just absolutely gorgeous with that design on there and the copper colored lid, lid on there. These are so pretty, you guys. And then my Dollar Tree actually also had these little decorative uh, jar lids, which I thought were pretty neat. I have some ideas in mind for these for DIYs, but if you just do any crafting or cooking, these are really neat. This one has kind of a floral pattern on it, and this one just has the, um, like a chicken wire pattern. I don't know what you call that, but um, yeah, these are really great. And they even fit on this one here. So I double checked while I was in the store um, and I have an idea in mind for this. Even though I love this lid, I have an idea where I can use these. So excited to share that with you guys. And that is the glassware I picked up. And these are so stinking cute, you guys. Little photo or little candle holders, like a little tea light candle so cute they're just really beautiful I mean I've seen these things like this at Michaels and Hobby Lobby and um, they are really 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 super cute just a little ceramic I love the color of the orange I love the color of the leaf and um, yeah those are adorable oh, and then there's this little guy how cute is he happy harvest <laughs> he's so cute I'm not sure if I'll use him for decor or if I will use him in a project. Most likely a project, but he's really cute and I like the colors also. I like that burgundy color. Really, really pretty. And I love the green as well. Look at these little paint sets, you guys. I mean, that is just really, really pretty. That can be for children or honestly, I would do this as a project. I think this is so cute. Look at how well done that, that uh, pumpkin is. It says, give thanks. That is just really, really pretty. Really well done. Um, I'm not gonna open it because I might uh, save that for the kiddos, but it is really pretty. And they had a lot of different ones too. I wish I would have picked up more. I always say that. <laughs> All right, then I bought this um, this child luau skirt and I bought it for some um, fall craftings because it's just straw. And you know, this is kind of hard to find sometimes at least at a decent price. Um, but picked up a few of those for some more fall projects. I went ahead and grabbed a few more of the packs of the pumpkin picks, which I love and I use these often. So I got the, the large, the medium, and the small. So I found them all, so I got, I think, two packs of each of those. <laughs> You'll see me use these a lot in projects, you guys. So that was a great find. Usually these are all picked over or gone by this time, so I was really happy to find those. And I grabbed some of these wood letters because these are great for projects as well. I think there's one of each of the alphabet in here, so uh, 26 total, yep. So I bought two packs of those for some upcoming projects. And then I found these other Christmas ornaments in another bag. And these are the, obviously the tree ones, like the bell and the stocking. So just these little wooden DIY ornaments. But the tree is really cute too. All of them are really cute, very well done. I also found these little pumpkin string lights. I didn't see these before, I don't think. I don't remember seeing these anyway, but they're really cute. You guys saw how I used the uh, leaf shaped ones. and. Um, these are just little pumpkins, but they're very, very cute. I'll find a use for these for sure. And I picked up some napkins. These are just some party napkins in the fall colors, which I love. These are two of my favorite fall colors, actually. There are 36 in each of these. So that's quite a bit. And they're really nice napkins. And check these out, guys. These are gorgeous little trays from Dollar Tree. These are new this year, at least to my Dollar Tree. I have not seen these. I only got them in this style. They actually had two different styles at my Dollar Tree, but um, they are so pretty. We've got that kind of shiny, almost like, looks like mercury. I just love these so, so much. Gonna use them in projects and in my decor. The back is just silver, but they are really, really beautiful. I've seen things like this at like TJ Maxx for much, much more than a dollar. So I grabbed four of those because they are beautiful. 
And then I picked up this little pumpkin tray, which you guys have all probably seen before, but my Dollar Tree rarely has these, so I grabbed one for a potential project in the future. I grabbed a few more fall signs. I'm not sure if I will use these as is or if I will paint them and use them in a project, but I always like picking up some of the nicely shaped signs. And I also got this little guy for a few projects, and he's gonna be for winter projects, actually. And I finally found a few more colors of the burlap leaves. I found two of the orange in the maple leaf, and I found one of the burgundy in the oak leaf. And then of course my store always has the, um, the neutral or the natural burlap. So I picked up those. These have five in each, and these are so great to use for anything, you guys. For projects, for decor, I just love these so much. I've seen people paint these. They're really pretty. And my store had these little gourds as well. Um, there's five in each, which I thought was a great deal. These are great for cornucopias, for wreaths. I will definitely use these. We've got a little bit, they're that really pretty green, and then they've got that little bit of a gold on there, a gold fleck on there. Hopefully you guys can see that. So pretty. Oh, this one doesn't have the gold. This one is just matte, which is good too. This one has the gold, so both are really pretty. And then I found these little sunflowers to use. I'll probably use those in um, in a project as well, but or maybe even for greeting cards. I love making greeting cards, and I love them to have three-dimensional um, adornments on them. But these are really cute. I've not seen these before at my Dollar Tree. There's nine of them in here. So those are super, such a great find. And they even got the wire on the back, the wire stem. These are amazing. My store also had these little planters, which I've not seen before, at least not at my Dollar Tree. They've got the hook on them. These are so nice, you guys. They're just the, um, the metal. Really nice. These are great for projects or for planters, as intended. And I grabbed a couple of these little tablecloths. Um, in the orange and the green because these are great colors for you know fall or spring or summer anytime really and these are the round which I find they're they're difficult to find sometimes these are the 60 inch round which is a really good size so I picked up one of each in um, these two colors can't remember if my store had other colors or not but um, but I picked these and they're really really pretty then I found these little uh, wooden signs, wild at heart and enjoy the ride. I think there was one more. I just picked up these. Look at how big these are. <laughs> these are like, I don't know, a foot and a half maybe. I'm not exactly sure, but, and they're really, really heavy duty. So just blocks of wood, not decorated on the sides at all, but um, nicely painted and worded. Really nice little decor piece, you guys. All right, I found these little heart signs. These are like for the wet in the wedding section that they have now. And um, these, I got three different ones. Try to hold these up for you guys. Sorry if this video seems rushed, but it is rushed. <laughs> I'm trying to hurry so I can get this video out for you guys. But um, these are really nice. They've got the little twine hanger on them. So if you're getting married, check out Dollar Tree. Seriously, they have some amazing little, little things that you can use. And um, for a dollar, you could even kind of spice them up a little bit or decorate them a little bit more and um, a lot you could do. I wish there was a Dollar Tree when I got married or I wish I'd known of it. I don't think it existed. <laughs> that was 22 years ago, but yeah, I would have definitely taken advantage of that. I grabbed a couple of these little margarita glasses. They're not so little, actually. They're really big and they're heavy. They are substantial. I think I'm gonna use them um, in a craft, though, as opposed to drinking out of, or maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll drink uh, out of them and then I will make a craft. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. But look at these, you guys, pot and pan protectors. Wow, these are an amazing find. They're just a, a really thin felt material but um, that's how they, they set, and I do have a lot of cast iron, and um, these are going to be great. I can't wait to use these for my pots and pans. I've not seen them before. I'm sure they exist, have been around for a long time. I've not seen them, but a um, dollar each? Okay, thanks Dollar Tree. I also grabbed some of the, this uh, contact paper because it's just really pretty, and I'm gonna use it in some projects, probably for the spring. 
because um, I love teal. Our house, our living room is decorated partly in teal. That's our accent color, and um, and I just love this pattern. So picked up one of each of those. Just it's so pretty, you guys. And then in the craft section, I found these little butterflies. They're that three-dimensional look, and um, these I'm keeping for when the kids come. They can paint them, color them, whatever they'd like. Or maybe I'll even use them in a project. We'll see. Got two of those. They're so cute. And my store finally had these little gold baskets, which are just so pretty. I don't know if I'll use them for organizing or a project or whatnot, but um, they're just really nice. They're really pretty gold. And then my Dollar Tree had this little ceramic plaque, which I thought is really cute. You can just add a message on here um, using a dry erase or a wet erase marker. But these would be really, really beautiful for a wedding wedding decor too. Um, I picked up a couple of those. They're just a nice ceramic. So cute. And so useful. Look, look how cute those little pumpkins are. Darling, darling. Stars. I just had to show you guys, so I stuck a few batteries in these, but I really like the stars actually much more than I thought. I like the blue toned or the cool toned lights uh, with the stars. These are really, really pretty. And then we have our little trucks. Look how cute those are. I love these, you guys. The light is, um, it's not real bright. It's very subtle, almost as if somebody left the, um, the interior light on in the truck. <laughs> That's what it makes me think of when I look at these, but um, really really cute you guys i think that is everything that concludes this really quick impromptu a dollar tree haul my friends it is officially christmas at dollar tree check it out if you have a dollar tree near you because i'm telling you you can get some amazing things they actually still have some really nice fall items out too guys so we don't want to leave fall and autumn behind just yet it's early in the season my friends but if you don't get these items when they come out then you might miss out Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. Sorry this was so rushed, but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys today. So thank you for watching. Always appreciate you carving a little time out of your busy day to spend this time with me. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and click on that little bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. I love you guys so much. Thanks again for watching. Have a beautiful day, my friends.